helpful an example to understand percentage more clearly. In a clearance sale, a cloth merchant reduces the prices by 15%. If the reduced price of a suit length is Rs. 3400, find its original price. To solve this, we have reduction in price is equal to 15% of original price. Reduced price is equal to 100 minus 15% or 85% of original price. Suppose original price is equal to rupees X. Therefore, 85% of X is equal to rupees 3400 or 85 by 100 of X is equal to rupees 3400. Therefore, X is equal to rupees 3400 into 100 by 85 is equal to rupees 4000. Hence, original price is equal to rupees 4000. Let us now study about profit and loss. If a man buys an article for rupees 50 and sells it for rupees 60, he makes a profit of rupees 10. Here, rupees 50 is called the cost price CP and rupees 60 is called the selling price SP of the article. Rupees 10, the difference between selling price and cost price is called as profit or gain. In case the selling price is less than the cost price, the difference is called loss. In other words, profit is equal to SP minus CP. Loss is equal to CP minus SP. It is important to note that profit or loss is calculated on the cost price. For example, if a man buys a cycle for rupees 3000 and sells it for rupees 3100, he makes a profit of rupees 100 on an investment of rupees 3000. If another man buys an old scooter for rupees 8000 and sells it for rupees 7200, he loses rupees 800 on an investment of rupees 8000. The formulae for calculating gain or loss percent is gain percent is equal to gain by CP into 100 and Loss percent is equal to loss by CP into 100. Now suppose a man buys a TV set for Rs. 12,500 and sells it for Rs. 12,000. Find his loss and loss percent. Loss is equal to CP minus SP is equal to Rs. 12,500 minus Rs. 12,000 is equal to Rupees 500. That is, he loses rupees 500 on an investment of rupees 12,500. By using the formula, loss percent is equal to loss by CP into 100, we get loss percent is equal to 500 by 12,500 into 100 is equal to 4. Therefore, his loss is 4%. You can find the selling price directly by using the following formulae. If there is a gain percent, SP is equal to CP into 100 plus gain by 100. If there is a loss percent, SP is equal to CP into 100 minus loss by 100. For example, by selling a fan for rupees 900, Rahul loses rupees 100. For how much should he sell it to gain 10%? We are given SP of the fan is equal to rupees 900. Loss is equal to rupees 100. CP of the fan is equal to SP plus loss is equal to rupees 900 plus rupees 100 is equal to rupees 1000. Gain required is equal to 
by using the formula SP is equal to CP into 100 plus gain by 100, we get SP is equal to rupees 1000, 100 plus 10 by 100 is equal to 1110 by 100 is equal to rupees 1100. One can also find the cost price directly by using the following formulae. If there is a gain percent, CP is equal to SP into 100 by 100 plus gain. If there is a loss percent, CP is equal to SP into 100 by 100